Hey, how are you guys? So Jesus is God in my last video asked me what's up with my PVC pipes and, and what filter system do I use? So so this video I'm gonna show you what the PVC pipes are for and the filter I the type of filter I use and hopefully you'll you'll learn from some something from it. If not, you'll hopefully it's still entertaining. So all these PVC pipes I have they're they're hang on back overflows that I made. Um, you can you can Google or YouTube how to make these, and other people uh, show you how to make them. They're they're quite simple, really. Uh, so what it essentially does is, when a water level goes above a certain point, it automatically flows it back down into another tank or wherever you want it to go, as long as it's lower than the water level. So I have two on this tank. This one goes down to my filter. This one goes down to the, my 20 gallon tank. And for the on the 20 gallon tank, I have two as well. Um, you really just need one. Um, I just made this one as extra, just as a precaution, just in case this one clogs up all of a sudden or, or something. Uh, and basically all of these, it goes down to my filter. And what I'm running right now is, is sort of like a trickle wet dry filter. And there's a canister filter underneath as well. So I just wanted to maximize my filtering capacity. So I just put everything I can find in there basically. Uh, so this is this is just the first level, the mechanical filtration. It's a uh, filter floss. You notice how I put three three uh, pod scrubbies in there. They're pod scrubbies. They're for biological filtration, but that's not the reason why I put them here. I put them here because um, when the water splashes onto the filter floss, it actually makes a loud sound. And by putting the the pod scrubbies here, it actually dampens the sound a bit, so it's not too loud in this room. The next level here, it's actually all pot scrubbies, um, and it's, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a, it's a trickle filter down here. I have another level of that underneath as well, and once it gets to the bottom, it's, uh, you can't see it, but once it gets to the bottom, I have a huge tube, it's a, it's a huge canister, and I have one, around one kilogram of, of, C chem matrix biomedia in there and I don't really recommend C chem matrix for a planted tank because it it controls nitrate levels as well and your plants sort of need nitrate I if I were to buy my media again I wouldn't have gotten this but I got this because there was a big hype about it and that it was really good and that you don't even need plants to 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 have a great fish tank because um, this controlled nitrate levels and I just wanted to try it out and it has a lot of surface area so I, I liked it because it had a lot of surface area not because it could control the nitrates but it's still a very good uh, biological filtration media you just have to make sure the water is very clean before it gets to it because if it clogs the, the, the pores in here it, it, it wouldn't be as useful as it was meant to be so just make sure you have a lot of mechanical filtration before that, before it gets into the CCAM matrix and you're fine. Um, so what what essentially, and down here I have a mag drive 7, it's a water pump that pumps the water back up to the top tank. And how it works is I connected a tube to the intake of the mag drive and that tube is connected to the canister. So then basically water is sucked in to the to the pump through the canister, getting filtered, and then going back up to the top tank in the gallon. And general overview is the, the water comes back out here, and the, most of the water goes through this this overflow and goes to my 20 gallon. Um, I can control how much water goes through with this valve. Um, whatever water that doesn't go through here, it goes through this and it goes back down into the filter. Sometimes I don't want I don't want the stream to be too strong, so I make it a bit lower. Uh, sometimes a bit higher, like after uh, after they, they just whenever I want to, basically. Um, and eventually everything goes back down here and gets filtered again. And yeah, that that's a big thing. My my swim tank is just two two hang on back filters. It's it's nothing much. I, I didn't have time to make a filter for my shrimp tank. They're quite low maintenance, so it's they're fine for now. Eventually, I'll do something. Uh, and yeah, 
If you like my video, please like it. If not, hopefully you'll like my other videos. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It really helped me out a lot. And I'll see you the next time I make a video.